Coming up, how to outlast and outblast your buddies in a snowball fight. Beat your mates with a balloon-powered racing car. Show up a muscle man with the sensational power of salt. And how to turn a sinking marble into a floating success story. How on earth do you get a heavy old bag of marbles to float? Good question. I'll just go off and soak in a tub while we try and find out. Uh, and not so fast, Anna. I think somebody's already beaten you to the bath. Ah, I'm in here. Whoops. Mum's still in the bath. I think it's Mum's favourite place. Why don't I make a special potion to make her bath times even better? Hey, China, want to help me make some bath bombs for my mum? Come on. OK, I have everything we'll need right here. That's witch hazel in the spray bottle. You can buy it in a pharmacy. Baking soda. Pastry cutters for shaping our bombs. A whisk. Some citric acid. And some food colouring. Our bath bombs are gonna go off. <laughs> Cheyenne and I are losing a snowball fight big time. Okay, we concede defeat. <laughs> Round one of the great snowball fight goes to Dylan and Chase. Cheyenne and I need to build up our stock of snowballs before round two. But we need to stop them turning to mush. Hey, mittens stop our hands from freezing. I wonder if they'd stop a snowball from melting. Let's take two snowballs inside. I know just how to find out if mittens can work like a mini fridge. Now, we'll put each snowball in a plastic bag. Seal them up to stop the water getting everywhere. Now I'll get Cheyenne to put one of the plastic bags inside one of my mittens. And I'll leave the other one there just in a plastic bag. Now we'll keep checking them to see which one melts first. Aha! The snowball in the mitten didn't melt nearly as much. The reason the snowball in the mitten melted more slowly is that the mitten material contains air gaps. Heat travels very slowly through air, so the gaps acted as an insulator, preventing the snowball inside from changing temperature quickly. But plastic has no insulating air gaps, so the snowball inside melted much faster than the one in the mitten. OK, let's get all the mittens we can. We filled the mittens with snowballs and built up a whole arsenal of freezing cold missiles. Take that, you guys. We've just won a stunning round two victory. Great comeback, Gabrielle. You sure bombarded those guys with some awesome snowballs. And speaking of bombs, I think it's time we checked on the progress of Kimberly's bath bombs. Here's how to make brilliant bath bombs. Measure out about half a cup of baking soda and put it into a mixing bowl. Then we need about half as much citric acid in the mixture. We've got to blend this super well, otherwise the bomb won't detonate when it hits the water. Good, that should be it. Now for a few drops of food colouring to make our mixture a lovely pink colour. Now China's squirting in some witch hazel. It's a natural plant product that makes the ingredients all stick together. Two or three squirts into the mix is enough to do the trick. OK, make a lump of the mixture like this, then pack it into the moulds before it gets hard. Carefully press it into all the corners of the mould, tap the shape out and leave it to dry. They look good. Let's try making a few more. We'll make up the same mixture as before, but this time let's make blue bombs. Now we add a few teaspoons of olive oil. It ends up in the bath water and makes your skin extra soft. We're also going to add a splash of yummy lavender oil to make them smell really nice. Squash in some witch hazel again and stir everything together. Then press the mixture into the moulds and leave them to dry out. I can't wait to try one. I wonder if Mum's out of the bath yet. 
Probably not. <laughs> Down to the test track to try out our new racing cars. Marcus and I have made them from boxes, drinking straws and cotton reels. Oh dear, I'd hardly call them jet powered. Hmm, seems like Marcus has got an idea though. Aha, uh -huh. good one Marcus. He really is making our cars jet powered. Powered by a jet of air from a balloon. Go Marcus. I'm going to give mine a jet turbo charge too. Time for a test run. Yay! They go like rockets. OK. Our jet-powered engines are fueled up and ready to go. OK, racers, start your engines. Three, two, one, go! Awesome! Orange wins! And green comes in. Well, bad luck, Marcus. Marcus and Nicole's cars are propelled along as high-pressure air trapped in the balloon is released. As the air is forced through the balloon's nozzle, it encounters resistance from the still air behind the car, which pushes it forward just like a real jet engine. And now for race two. I win again! <laughs> Looks like it's back to the drawing board for Marcus. Oh, well. Nothing a little bit of backyard testing won't solve. Which is exactly what Lara's about to do. She's trying to make marbles float. <laughs> I'd love to be a sailor, living a life of adventure on the wide blue seas. My little red boat would sail through even the roughest storms. Oh no! Little red boat sank when it filled up with water. It must have been too heavy. But real boats float and they're heavy. <laughs> I'm going to find out why things float. First, I'll try floating a marble in this bowl of water. It's not very heavy, but it sinks. What about a smaller one? No, it sinks too. This modelling clay isn't very heavy. I wonder if it floats. Nope. Straight to the bottom again. Maybe if I make it flat, that'll help it float. If I just squish it on the table here, now it's flat like a leaf. And leaves float. No, it still sinks, though a little slower than before. My little red boat floats, and it weighs about the same as the modelling clay. What if I try making a boat shape out of the clay and see if that keeps it on top of the water? I think I'll name it the good ship Lara. After me. Yay! It floats really easily. I reckon it could even take some cargo. How about a few marbles? One big marble? No problem. Ten marbles and the good ship Lara is still sailing. An object will float if it weighs less than the amount of water it pushes away or displaces. A marble and a ball of clay weigh more than the amount of water they displace, so they sink. But making the modelling clay into a wide boat shape increases the amount of water it displaces, so it can float. My new boat seems to be unsinkable. Uh-oh. Maybe I spoke too soon. Now it's sunken treasure. <laughs> go. He's pumped. Those new dumbbells have made him think he's a superhero. Well, I've got a little strength challenge for his new muscles. And he might just find he's not as strong as he thinks. Hey, Mr Muscles! Bet you can't tear this piece of tissue paper. I like your confidence, Tammy. I'll just put the paper over the end of this cardboard tube and attach it with a rubber band. Next, I'm going to pour in some salt to about halfway up the tube. Now, Mr Universe, 
can you break through the tissue paper by smashing down on the top of the salt with the handle of this mallet. Haha, <laughs> you can't do it! That tissue paper is too strong for you, Mr Puniverse. There are thousands of grains of salt in the tube and between them are tiny spaces filled with air. As Tamiana bangs down on the salt, all his energy pushes the grains closer together. There's no energy left to break through the tissue paper. It's no good, Tammy. You can't do it. Time to let a strong woman show you how to tear the tissue paper. Boy, Carrie ann sure blew Tammy's strongman act out of the water. Mmm, and I can't wait to see if Kimberly's bath bombs are going to do much the same thing. China and I have made up some bath bombs to give to my bath-loving mum. The blue ones even have some skin-softening olive oil in them and a dash of lavender oil to make them smell sweet. After three hours drying, the bombs are solid and ready. Let's go try some out. Yes! Mum is finally out of the bath. OK, watch this, China. Here goes. The big fizz test. Cool! Look at that explosion. What a great way to make bath time even more fun. The fantastic fizz that happens when the bomb hits the water is the result of a chemical reaction. The citric acid reacts with the baking soda to create carbon dioxide gas bubbles that fizz away into the water. As the bomb dissolves, the lavender fragrance is released. Mmm, how relaxing. Uh-oh, only one left. I suppose we could give it to Mum. Nah, this is too much fun. Right, that's it. Now I'm really going for a good long soak in the bath. Actually, Dana, we're all going, because we've just come to the end of another show. See you next time. time.